Hi, I'm Trevor Conkergood from Floriani, and I'd like to show you how amazing it is to create freestanding embroidery using our FTCU or Floriani Total Control software. And so notice on my screen I've got a pair of embroidery earrings. Um, and this is just an example of the type of design that you can make using the Floriani software. If I turn the little camera on to my desktop here, you'll see a bunch of different lace designs that kind of feature some of the different tools of the Floriani software and just examples of designs that you might have collected from our software owners club right because when you own the floriani software you have an exclusive website with designs that come every month and beautiful snowflakes or just little um i love you hearts and this kind of thing and so we have lots of beautiful lace designs um and i thought today i could show you guys how i made these cool embroidered earrings. And so notice that they're even decorated with a little bit of bling like that. And I've made them in a bunch of different colors. And so let's go ahead and get started. And I'm just gonna pop back on over to the software. And first of all, um, to show you how I made the earrings. And so I've got some photographs. Let's bring those up. You wanna hoop up our wet and gone stabilizer. That's the stabilizer that when it gets wet, it totally goes away. And I always use our perfect grip tape to help the fabric hold the hoop or the hoop hold the fabric so that it stays really nice and tight when I embroider on it. And I'm gonna use matching bobbin threads to top threads. And optional, you could put some mylar in your embroidery earrings, and that is the ingredients of my project. And so the first thing I do is um, embroider the first color on top of some mylar. It's like a topper. Basically, after the first color is over, you're going to um, take the hoop off the machine and remove the mylar, just tear it away. And now, I always like to say, clean it up a little bit before you sew the color two, uh, because color two is going to be the border. And so I'll trim any mylar bits that don't come off and any threads on the back, put it back on the machine, and then I do a border that gives it a nice clean edge around the edge of your earrings and then the second color I guess the third color is the um, decoration on top and so it could be a two or three color design um, once it's done embroidering you're gonna um, well I guess I did a sheet of them you know so why not use up as much of your wet and gone as you can and make earrings for all your friends while you're at it Anyway, once they're done and you take them off of the machine, you trim any uh, knots on the backside, uh, like little tie-ins and tie-offs, that kind of thing, and you uh, remove the excess water dissolving stabilizer and then you use very hot water in just the sink is how I do it. So nice, warm, almost like steaming hot water. And it almost dissolves instantly when you put it in the water. Um, once it comes out of the water, I just use some paper towel to tamp it to dry and rinse the water out of your sink. And you've made your freestanding uh, embroidered earrings. Now it takes kind of like overnight for them to fully dry and then you can pick them up and handle them and put your earring clasp in them and perhaps put some bling onto them like that. I like to use our crystal embellisher to add Swarovski crystals to my earrings and so there you have it different colors of earrings and it's kind of a fun thing and they make great presents for your mom for Mother's Day. And so really when you're in the Floriani software, um, it's very easy. So if you have a shape, and I thought I would show you guys how I did this. Um, you know, if you just have the shape, you can do a lace fill. But if you have um, a nice outline, you can do a lace outline. And you can also do a mesh background instead of a lace background, and it's a little bit more delicate. And you also have um, take an embroidery design and do a lace background behind it. So these are all things that are features of the Floriani software. So let me show you how easy it all is. If you um, have the shape that you want, and I'll just make some copies of it. Let's use our copy tool to do, um, let's see, we'll do one row, but we'll do like six of them. And maybe just put a little bit of space in between them so that there's some room. And so now I'll say, okay, and I have several different uh, of the same shape. 
And so for the first one, I'll show you the least. Notice down at the bottom, this is all different pieces of artwork. And down at the bottom are different styles of embroidery. And if I click right over here at the bottom on the right, Auto Lace. Instantly, it's a um, prepared for freestanding lace. Um, it gives you color stops as options, but you can also just right click and say you want to do a single color lace. And essentially, that's what I did to create the um, the cactus for you guys. And so that's called a lace fill. But if you want to take an embroidery design that's already embroidered and do a lace background, so this phoenix, this bird, wasn't really meant to be freestanding embroidery, but once you sew it onto the lace background, it could easily be freestanding. And so imagine that the cactus was simply an embroidery design. So I'll fill it in with just regular old embroidery. Um, so you've opened up any embroidery design and you choose on the tool at the top. It says auto laced background. And it gives you the option of how far will the border be around your design. And then it creates a border. You can also choose to put it on a diamond or an oval background. And so that one's called auto lace background. And it creates a lace background that supports your embroidery design. Now, if you take the um, same design and you use the mesh fill or sorry, mesh steel, it's a freestanding lace basically what it does is it gives that border extra special underlay stitches maybe if I hide and I would maybe make those borders even fatter so that there are lots of overlap and can you see how those underlay stitches that's what's going to help that border stay connected after you dissolve the you know water dissolving stabilizer and you can do the exact same effect this mesh steel um, borders and then omit the finish stitches so notice the little check box here omit steel finish and what that does is it gives you the really lacy effect of just that sort of outline and that's essentially that's what this tool is here so I call that um, like a lace outline tool or, but it's technically called the mesh steel tool and so these are all examples of different types of tools that we could do um, another one and perhaps one more and then I'll kind of wrap it up but basically um, all of these are different examples so this one is the mesh fill and so now when we choose mesh fill we get to choose from many different styles of mesh fill patterns but essentially what it's going to do is um you know capture some mylar or uh, a very open decorative pattern for some freestanding lace and so yeah um all of these are examples of different freestanding lace tools in the floriani software and um i know you're just going to want to know more about the floriani software and we invite you to visit our website it's the rnksoftware.club you can go ahead and download the software and give it a try and um you know watch some of the videos come you'll become a member join the club um when you have the software and you watch the videos in the training center, um, you'll be amazed at all the different features that the software has to offer. Um, this is where you can find out about the free monthly designs. If you own the FTCU software, you get new embroidery designs every month. And so you're able to download the, the software and try it. And then when you visit your Floriani dealer, you'll be ready to buy. And so go ahead and ask as many questions as you want. I know that your favorite Floriani dealer would love to see you guys and so this is where you get the updates to the software just come here click on FTCU um, watch the videos about the latest update in the software and then go ahead and click on here to download the latest version and um, that's one of the things that all of our software owners love the most is that there's always a new version for the software and the updates are totally free because FTCU is the one software that you really only ever have to purchase once because the updates come free. And we do several updates a year and all the software owners love it because um, we all get the update at the same time and it's quite exciting. And so I hope you enjoyed today's video, learning a little bit about how to create freestanding embroidery using Floriani products and Floriani software.